Downing Street officials danced and drank alcohol while the Queen was mourning the death of her beloved husband, Prince Philip's, a news report has claimed. While Brits were mourning the death of Prince Philip, advisers and civil servants from Downing Street met after work in two separate events to bid goodbye to their colleagues, according to The Telegraph. The astonishing details come at a time when Boris Johnson and his government face heap for organizing and attending a party at number 10 during the first lockdown in 2020. However, if the reports are to be believed then this is the first gathering of 2021. On April 16, Britain was in a period of public mourning after the death of the royal member. Union flags on government buildings across Westminster hung at half-mast to mark the passing of Prince Philip, Queen Elizabeth II's husband, the previous week. While the Queen sat alone in a private chapel in Windsor Castle to bid farewell to her husband of 73 years, staff of Downing Street were dancing to the tunes of the alcohol to celebrate the departure of their colleagues. Many of those who attended the party told the Telegraph that excessive alcohol was served and at many points, the guests danced too. One of the sources told the publication that the party ran late into the night stretching beyond midnight. They were, according to one who was there, undeniably parties. According to the news report, one of the attendees was James Slack, Mr. Johnson's director of communications. He had served two Tory prime ministers, a rare carryover from the Theresa May days, but was leaving after four years to become deputy editor at the Sun newspaper. The other was one of Mr. Johnson's personal photographers, attended mainly by younger members of staff, spent much of the evening in the number 10 basement. One of the eyewitnesses told the Telegraph that Shelley Williams Walker, Mr. Johnson's head of operations, was in charge of the music at points. The report claimed that she was jokingly nicknamed DJ SWW, a reference to her initials, according to one present that night. The Telegraph has put out the claim to Downing Street where Ms. Williams Walker still works. However, no denial has been issued. A number 10 spokesperson said of Mr. Slack's farewell event, on this individual's last day he gave a farewell speech to thank each team for the work they had done to support him, both those who had to be in the office for work and on a screen for those working from home. The spokesperson declined to comment on the photographer's leaving due 